We ended up wanting to put a, have a significant large piece in the home, in the, in the master bedroom. After we did that project, we didn't have a lot of uh, money left over for art. I'm a big music fan, a large cas audio cassette collection. I always thought, well, why don't I do a piece using some of the cassettes, get some more cassettes, and just maybe make uh, a piece for this house. That piece was kind of trial and error. I had to kind of, I had an image of James Brown. I pixelated it and I kind of would uh, put pieces on the wall and then step back. The cassettes kind of act as pixels to make an image. I use my ca my camera phone to photograph it, take, look at it small kind of, and then adjust. And so it took months to do. I had to find a way to fasten the cassettes to a canvas, the canvas being a giant, some pieces of plywood, and then I made a frame with metal. Another piece in the house is the, is the map uh, art piece. And when we did the demo, we, we, there, was a, there was a floor, a metal floor here in the middle of the house um, between the living room and the dining room. And Peggy and I always liked the character of it. We just wanted to upgrade the heating and cooling in the house. So we saved the metal grill because it had kind of a, a rusty texture to it. And I always liked the grid pattern for some reason and ended up uh, finding that uh, electrical wire nuts, uh, a certain size fit the exact grid so I could do it like a simple pressure fit. It was very easy to make a, a piece and I wanted to do something kind of universal so I ended up uh, do a world map. The concept of, of reusing and repurposing materials was a kind of strong approach for us because they were cost effective. 